Hey everyone, it's Julie. Today we'll be making turkey meatloaf. I don't make this often, but I definitely enjoy it when I do make it. And I hope you all enjoy this as much as I did. So let's get started. So here I have 16 ounces of ground turkey. You want to break it up with a fork so the ingredients mix in easily. I wanted this to be very flavorful, so I grated half of a small onion. And when you grate the onion, the onion releases all of its juices, which is what you want because turkey can be a little on the dry side. I grated the garlic as well, and the garlic is just like the onion. It's twice as potent when you grate it rather than chop it. I added some green chilies, some parsley, a little bit of granulated garlic, granulated onion, and some salt and pepper. And of course, you can omit the green chilies if you don't want it to be spicy. Pour in a little bit of Worcestershire sauce and some breadcrumbs as well. And of course, the exact recipe will be down at the description box below. Give everything a good mix. And now we're just going to form our little meatloaf. I added some boiled eggs because I love how it tastes with egg. And growing up, my mom would always add eggs to the meatloaf. So I was kind of in a state of shock when I realized that most restaurants do not add egg. So I guess that's more of a home cook thing, which is great. Reminds me of my childhood and I love meatloaf with boiled eggs now. So try as best as possible to cover the eggs if you decide to add them to your meatloaf. And then we are going to place the... Oh, well. First, we're going to brush it with some barbecue sauce. I just use whatever barbecue sauce I have on hand. Usually, I like to use a honey barbecue, but use whatever you have. Some people add brown sugar to their ketchup. That's okay as well, but I just use whatever barbecue sauce I have on hand. Placed it in a 350 degrees preheated oven for 45 minutes, and then I took it out of the oven and brushed some extra barbecue sauce on the meatloaf, or a spatula some extra sauce if that even is. I don't think there's such a thing as spatula but I used a spatula because the other brush was dirty and then I placed it in the oven for an additional 15 minutes and voila dinner is done I served this with mashed potatoes and some corn it was delicious I wanted to slice into it to show you how delicious it looked but hopefully you guys will give this a try because it was super yummy and certainly drizzle some gravy over the top or even some extra barbecue sauce. I really enjoyed this. I hope you all give this a try and I want to thank you all so much for watching.